Alright, welcome back to another Crash 4 It's About Time video. Welcome back to my 100% completion series where I go for all the boxes, go for three or less deaths, and find every single hidden gem in all of these levels. It is episode 3, and what I want to do is I want to finish off the Pirate World. The Pirate World has, I think, three levels so we'll start with booty calls where we are right now and then work our way up the levels um this level here booty calls is actually quite difficult not gonna lie but the most difficult one out of the three we're gonna do is the final one so this one should be quite doable but there might be a few boxes that you guys could miss when uh when, when going for 100% completion, but I will guide you guys through everything and hopefully I don't die too much myself, but anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this guy right here The first box you have to go for is that one and that's basically it Okay, I gotta wait for that box to kind of these boxes are super Freaking annoying, man. Sometimes I don't pay attention to the flames coming out of those boxes, and my goodness, man, uh, they they wreck me. Anyway, this Davy Jones-looking character, like I said in my episode, you have to hit them from up top. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait for the ferrets, and that's the first checkpoint already. If you haven't died yet uh, till uh, this point, and you guys will see that right here. Uh, you could pick up a flashback tape, which will be, I think, the third tape um, in the game. There we go, belly flop our way. This is the second box that you guys might miss when playing through this level. Uh, you basically just drop down right after the first box, because there is a hidden box at the bottom of, um, of the kind of rope, I guess you can say. There we go, jump to the left here, left again. Bang, go down. Here you kind of have to swing to the left and right a little bit to get all the boxes. Bang, left. Oh, I missed one! Are you kidding me? Okay, please don't miss it right now. Please just don't miss it. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. No! Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. Oh, yo, these are super intense, bro. This right here, I think, is where Tana is gonna come into play. I think Tana blew these guys up because Tana is kind of the guardian angel of uh, Crash and Coco. And you have separate Tana levels, which uh, I will, of course, be checking out in my kind of playthrough of, um, of the story here. You gotta wait for this guy to turn around, and then you can hit him. What I wanna do here, you have two paths, so you will have to come back to uh, one path, I guess. You, ha you have to backtrack a little bit. What I like to do is I like to take the right path first, and then uh, do the left path second. So I'm just gonna do that. Destroy these boxes. Go for the TNT, and then you can make your way forward. Uh, wait for that floating pallet kind of uh, thing here. There we go, and then there's a whole lot of boxes here. If you really want, you could hit every single one of them to get as much Wampa fruit as possible, but I just, I just don't do that, and I just, oh! Woo! Woo! Man, that was way too lucky on my part. I could have died right there, but I didn't, so you have to backtrack a little bit right here. Bang. Some more Davy Jones guys, bang! Okay, those are dead. You have to wait for the flames to uh, to go here, and then you basically do this one. All right, we made it past this uh, this part now. We got the box. Oh, you gotta wait for that one to kind of uh, stop flaming, and that should be all the boxes in this area. So if you backtracked a little bit. You can continue on and break the checkpoint crate. You could, of course, break it a little bit earlier, but this is where you get to the bonus stage. Of course, keep in mind, you can die during the bonus stage. This one is a little bit tricky, but 
I would say it's definitely doable. What you need to do is you need to break the two boxes at the top here, then break all of these boxes and jump right over. Get that one. Mm, it just damaged me. That is not good. That is not good whatsoever. So you wait for the TNT to explode. Bang. Then you make your way uh, back there, up top, and bang. Belly flop your way through. You don't belly flop your way through that box or these boxes. You gotta make your way to the exclamation mark box, and then you can basically, uh, you can basically go back. Bang. Uh, get this box over here. Bang. And then go back for the final boxes of the stage, and that should be all 22 boxes of the bonus level. Alright, so far man, doing this 100% playthrough, it is so satisfying, and I'm not really struggling too much with it so far, so it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a whole lot of fun to record these episodes. What you need to do here, because there is a hidden gem of course in every single level, and the hidden gem is gonna come up right here, there we go, you need to hit the chest, and there is the hidden gem. I actually found this one first try when playing at uh, this level. This part is kind of hard sometimes. Of course, again, wait for this guy to turn around and slide your way through. Almost died. I'm not gonna lie, that was uh, quite close. All right. What I what I like to do is I like to go for the exclamation mark box first, and then uh, kind of go back for all the other boxes here. There's no hidden box here, so just make your way through, uh, bang, then you gotta go to the right on the level, of course this stupid David Jones character actually thought I died, but I didn't, that's... Okay, please, that was one of the stupidest deaths I've ever had in this game so far, I think, and I was on my way to getting a perfect run on this stage as well, because of course I restart the level and I didn't die. And that, that was such a stupid death. I'm gonna have one freaking death, man. And I'm gonna be absolutely annoyed by it. But anyway, you make your way to the final stage here. Bang, bang, bang. And that should be everything. If you break all the boxes here, you should have the gem at the end of the level. And right now, I am super annoyed that I had that one final stupid ass death. Because right here, we got all the gems, but we died once, so we don't get the perfect run or the insanely perfect relic. Oh, feels bad, but that was booty calls. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, this level is actually a lot of fun because it is the first Tana level and Tana gameplay is just so freaking satisfying. I absolutely love it. And if you guys haven't seen one of my uh, earlier episodes, Oh, those guys are pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Woo! You have to be careful right there. But I already got the box gem uh, when playing through this for the very first time. So we shouldn't have a problem with all the boxes, but we should have a problem with uh, getting kind of uh, no deaths, I guess you can say. Okay, we will have to kind of jump our way through. Can we not get that one? Okay, we can. So we got the box to our right as well, it looks like. There we go, you make your way through. Bang, you get all the boxes there. And you go on top of the platform, of course, there's a box to our left. You should definitely go and take that. I still can't believe Tana can wall jump, that's amazing. The hidden gem on this level is not that hidden. So, you shouldn't really have too much of a problem with it. Davy Jones again. Oh, that guy is so annoying, not gonna lie. Okay. You should hit that one too. Not too sure what it does. Oh, okay, yeah. So, it does mean you can... You don't need to... Oh, yeah, you do need to because you need to get that Aku Aku crate over there. Okay, then you can just uh, drop down, I guess. I just love spanking that dude's ass, bro. It's <laughs> so enjoyable to do. All right, let's go. Another Davy Jones character. Freak off, Davy Jones. All right, make your way through. That sh there should be a box over there, and another checkpoint. Not bad so far. I'm gonna wait for those things over there. Those are annoying. I'm not gonna lie. 
Tana, don't die, please. Okay. So he already ate me. That means uh, his attack should cool down. Did I lose something? Did I lose my Aku Aku? I think I lost my Aku Aku. Ah, oh, those th those are so annoying, not gonna lie. Bang. Okay, that should get rid of that guy. Bang. And we are already, I think, halfway through the level at this point. And so far I don't think we have uh, missed any of the boxes. That is good. Uh, here you don't actually need to take uh, that box because you can just move right here. Those red uh, things over here, they are super tricky because they go... Yep, yep, they go down in the water. And that is our first death. I would have liked um, to get a perfect run on this one. Oh, I just dodged that shark. I didn't even... I, I didn't even know he was that close to me. Oh my god! I almost messed that up as well. Man, this is actually pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you jump right here. Bang. Oh, man. Come on. Up. Oh, there we go. Nice. We got some more enemies over here. That dude, I'm gonna spank his ass again. Because it, when you do this, they can't move. So it's basically a free... Free kill. What the heck was that? This freaking dude, man. For some reason, I'm struggling super hard with him. Okay. Oh my god. Please don't die, Tana. I don't want you to die. Okay, get the TNTs. That is very important. Sometimes you would think TNTs are no crates. But they are definitely crates, man. They definitely are. Okay, going up, and this is where the hard part kind of begins here. Uh, because, ah oh man, and I already died two times. Which means I can only die once more. And that is not good. That is not good. Okay. This is the hard part. Right here. This box. If you can get this box done easily. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, good. Woo! Let's go. Now, there are a couple of boxes you might actually miss, but there's no here, I think. Yeah, okay. So, you basically need to jump and do that. Perfect. So, there's two more boxes here now. Uh, this one you might actually miss because it is quite... There we go. And then there's one more. Right there. Are you kidding me? You gotta be gosh dang kidding me, I jumped too early. Alright, freak off, you stupid crate. There we go. That's the gem at the end of the level. <laughs> wow, that was close, we died three times. But, but you only need three deaths or less, so even if you have three deaths, it is gonna give you the gem right there. And we unlock the artist skin for Crash Bandicoot. Whew! I'm glad I did this uh, first try here, but my goodness, it was too close for comfort. Alright, uh, this one is called a Jetboard Jetty, and I think it's one of the easier ones to collect all the boxes, because there are almost no hidden boxes, well, at least I don't think there are any hidden boxes, but it's one of the harder ones to basically stay alive, and because it's such a... It's such a long one. There is a green gem level as well, or road as well, and there is a boss fight at the end of this level too. So it's definitely one of the harder ones to stay alive in. But, okay, I don't think there's a box up there. No, there isn't. So hopefully we can, of course, do it, and hopefully we don't die uh, three or more times in this run over here. Okay. Please. Oh, I thought I was not gonna make that. Alright, there's a couple boxes here. Bang. Uh, belly flop your way through. And there is the checkpoint. It's also a level where you, uh, where you basically drive around a vehicle for the first time in this game, which is 
Ah, I just love the vehicle levels. Oh yeah, and if you don't die up to this point, you can actually collect a flashback tape. Okay, bonus level time. I don't think this one is too difficult, if I remember correctly. Yeah, no, I don't think this one is too difficult. What I do is, I do that. Uh, you don't actually need to wait for the, for the TNT, I guess, but I just did because it makes it a whole lot more easy. And then, one, two. Okay. Bang, and bang. You go back to the TNT, you jump up. You ride before it uh, explodes, and then you should be all fine. And those are all the boxes in this bonus stage. Okay. Whew, so far, no deaths, but the green gem route is still, uh, yeah, we still need to do that one. And I think I might actually mess up right there. But yeah, these parts, man, I, uh, I do not, I do not enjoy these whatsoever. These are quite difficult, not gonna lie. Get out of here, please. Okay. Bang. Alright. Whew, checkpoint, let's go. And we got Aku Aku, so you can basically get hit once uh, during these stages, but what you want, ultimately what you want is you want to keep these for, uh, for the green gem level, I guess. Whew, let's go. Oh my god. Okay, so far we are doing absolutely amazingly. Oh yeah. No! Oh my god. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked right there. The hidden jam is up here, if you guys didn't know. But, but yeah, I can't believe that actually worked. We lost Aku Aku, which is a never a good thing, but at least we didn't die. Alright. The next uh, the next vehicle part. Be careful of these um of these cannonballs, I guess. Because when they hit you, it's all up and over, bro. The mines aren't really too big of a problem, I would say. Bang. Bang. Oh, come on. I knew it! I knew that was gonna happen. It never happened to me before. I never died during a vehicle level, but... I knew it was gonna happen once, bro. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, get this. Wait for the cannonball. There we go. Whew, checkpoints and let's start uh, the green gem level if you guys don't know how to get the green gem uh, Definitely watch the I think second part of the 100% completion series uh, I actually get the green gem right uh, there So you should definitely go and watch uh, that one the green gem route here is actually quite annoying Quite difficult not gonna lie so if I can do this First time around, I might actually be surprised. We also don't have Aku Aku, which might actually be a problem, but so far it isn't. Oh, I didn't even, ah, didn't even see those cannonballs, those cannons right there. Man, I can only die one more time. Okay, you basically do that. You just jump on top of that TNT and you should all be good right there. Okay, dodge a little bit of this. Not bad so far, and that is all of the boxes in the green gem route. Okay, but we still have a boss fight ahead of us, and we can only die one more time. And sometimes I even die on these parts too, so... Can we actually do it? That is the question. What in the world was that? Come on! I know what was going on, I actually pressed the R2 button right before I jumped. <laughs> that was so stupid of me, that was a death I could have prevented. Okay, there are actually two boxes right here, so definitely uh, try and get those. Bang, bang. Okay, not bad. Woo! I am focusing up so hard, not gonna lie. Did I lose Aku Aku again? Oh, come on, I actually needed that. I needed that one. Oh my god, let's go. Whew. I am focusing up so hard over here, because I don't want to mess this up. 
I can only die one more time. If I die during the boss bar, uh, boss fight part, man, I will be so upset. One, two. Oh my god. Let's go! Woo! Oh man, there's so much more! There's still so much more to this level and I can't... Oh, okay. Okay. Make the ferrets explode. Go for these boxes. Wait for the first cannonball to roll. And then I can basically make my way through. Please don't die here. That would kind of suck. Okay, wait for the mine to go to the right. Because you need to go to the left to get this golden wampa. Actually, you don't. Okay. Bang. Two ferrets down. Okay, make your way through. Come on. Bang, bang, boogie. Alright. Get the wampa. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. That's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. <gasps> Woo! Woo! Please! What the heck is going on? What in the world is going on? I don't even know. But I think I made it. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, we have all the boxes, but there's still a boss fight to come. Please, Crash, don't die, for the love of God. Okay, Lewis, I'm gonna absolutely beat your ass. Get over here, get your tentacles, get your tentacles over here. I'm gonna absolutely wreck you. Come on, Ferrets, help me out a little bit. Help me out a little bit, let's go. Alright. Should be one done. Okay, that's two done. No! I didn't even know you oh, you couldn't get too close to the monster. Oh. I'm gonna have to redo the level all over again. I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, I have retried this level five times. And for some reason, I don't have all... I don't have all the boxes here, and I don't know which boxes I'm actually missing. <laughs> the first time around I got all 196, but couldn't do the boss fight. Right now, I can actually do the boss fight because I only died once, but I don't have all the boxes. So I guess I will do the boss fight here, and then you guys saw all the boxes in the video anyway. So I'll just uh, I'll just defeat the boss, tell you guys how to kind of do it, and then collect all the gems. I will do it off screen. We'll get all the all the box um, kind of gems uh, off screen a little bit. Oh come on, let's go! But so far I am uh, I am actually struggling with it, and I can't believe it. Bang. Bang, and this should be the final one. Bang. That is... It's actually a really easy boss. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Please say... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me that I always... I always restart the level. I restart the level twice because of this. Because I thought I didn't have enough boxes. Then I could just do that. Oh, I am such an idiot. Oh, well... We got all the gems, thank god I don't have to replay this level another time. But we only died once, which could have been prevented and then uh, it could have been a perfect run. But we unlocked the artist uh, skin for Coco this time. Those were all the levels of this video. It took me so long to actually record this. I had to replay that final level like six to seven times fully as well. Now, I've been recording for over an hour and 15 minutes right now, and I think the video is going to be around 20. But yeah, that's going to be it for uh, this episode right here. Hopefully this helped you guys out, and hopefully you guys don't struggle as much as I struggled during the recording of this video. We are making our way to uh, Tranquility Falls, I think it is. But those levels will be for next episode. I'm going to end it right here though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like if you want to see more. Then subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.